Hey guys, Predzilla here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we have some more Godzilla movie news and some big, big Godzilla size news has just dropped. And I'm talking about a new MonsterVerse Godzilla TV show that has been announced for Apple TV. This is so exciting. I am so excited for this. So this does 100% confirm that the MonsterVerse is fully continuing because before we knew that it was continuing on the Kong part of it with the new Netflix Skull Island show, which I'll be talking about more later in the video. But we didn't know what was going on for the Godzilla part of it and this confirms that it will be continuing with Godzilla and that is honestly what I wanted to hear and I'm so excited and for anyone who is wondering this will be live action and it will not be cartoon or anime or whatever which I think is the better choice because I think that'll draw in more viewers than the like it being animated and whatnot would because in my personal experience with people that I'm around, anyways, people don't really want to watch animated stuff, because I guess it's like some stereotype that it's like for kids and whatnot, which sucks, but it's the truth. Or at least for me anyways, with, you know, family members and whatnot. But the thing that I am worried about is, like, the budget being cut super low, so the effects and CGI and visuals and all that kinds of stuff might be trash, but I'm hoping that it's not because that's a, a big thing that happens for TV shows. So I am hoping for the best. But this will be produced by Chris Black, who has worked on Star Trek Enterprise and Outcast, which I have not seen either of those, so I do not know if he is good or not, but I am going to go in very positive for this. Unless I here's something from someone who says oh this guy sucks or I don't know something like that but this is also going to be produced by Matt Fraction who is best known for his comic book work such as Marvel's Hawkeye and that is actual comic books and not the show but the actual show leaned heavily on his work and I believe he even worked on the show a bit or at least was just credited on the show because it leaned on his work which I think is a good thing but I can't entirely be for sure and this is also going to be produced by Safe House Pictures Joby Harold Joby Harold and Tori Tunnel as well as I'm going to butcher these names Hiro Matsuka Hiro Masuka and Take Masa Arita. Take Masa Arita. I'm sorry. I probably pronounced your names completely wrong, but I tried. But these producers are from Toho, which 100%, 1000%, a million percent confirming that Godzilla will be in this. And maybe some other classic Toho monsters, maybe Rodan will make an appearance, Mothra, maybe, like the Mothra egg at least, or possibly something new, like a, another classic Toho monster making a Monsterverse appearance. I personally think that would be awesome, but there is no saying for sure as of now, obviously. But we are given a brief description that says, Following the thunderous battle between Godzilla and the Titans that leveled San Francisco, Godzilla and the Mutos, and the shocking new reality that monsters are real, uh, duh, and it continues saying, that One family's journey to uncover its buried secrets and a legacy linking them to the secret organization known as Monarch. So that is pretty interesting. But the big question I have is when will this be taking place? Because 
since it mentions following the tremendous battle between Godzilla and the Titans, or Godzilla, the Mutos, I feel like this is going to be taking place after 2014, but before King of the Monsters and Godzilla vs. Kong, so kind of like a prequel, I guess you could say. Or it might just be after Godzilla vs. Kong, which I think would be better. I don't know if, if I would want it to be after 2014 and like before King of the Monsters and Godzilla vs. Kong basically being a prequel. Or if they're going to do like it going from the events of 2014, the events of King of the Monsters, and the events of Godzilla vs. Kong, which would be interesting, but I... Not sure if I would want that either. But we'll just have to wait till we have more information to really know for sure. And also, a question that I have is, what family are we going to be following? Because they do not name any family name. So, this could be the Madison family, possibly the Brody family, or just a new family, new characters, and all that kind of stuff. Personally... I would love to see the Brody family return, like this being after King of the Monsters and after events of everything, and we have we have the Brody family, like the kids all grown up, and obviously Ford Brody is older than he was in 2014. Obviously, that would I mean, that's how aging works. <laughs> and we also have the the mom who is I don't remember the character's name but I believe is played by like I, I don't remember much of her name either Elizabeth Olsen the lady who plays Wanda aka the Scarlet Witch in the MCU so I think that would be awesome if they came back because I did like them in 2014 they are personally my favorite human characters of any Godzilla movie. Well, or at least one of my favorite human characters of Godzilla movies. But that is just my personal opinion on that. And also, I wonder if we will be seeing never-before-seen Titans, which I think is a high possibility, and I would very much love that, so... I have high hopes for that. But the other question is, going back to the beginning of the video, is where is the Netflix Skull Island series? We have heard absolutely nothing on it. We just have this, and, like, what happened to that? Did it end up getting canceled? Is it, like, slowly being worked on because of everything that's happening in the world? I feel like that's m most logical, but a lot of other things that have been in the works have, you know at least something coming out for it but we have heard absolutely nothing on this so who knows maybe we'll hear something soon or we will have to wait even longer or they'll eventually just announce that it ended up, ended up getting cancelled but only time will tell and that is all the information that we have for now on this but I cannot wait to hear more and I imagine we will Probably not entirely soon, but I'm guessing we'll probably hear more during the summer or possibly around the end of the year, because those two seem to be like the most of when we hear MonsterVerse stuff. But I obviously don't expect this to come out anytime soon. My guess is that it'll probably release either mid to late 2023 or maybe even like early 2024. So don't expect this to come out super quick or anything, which I would prefer it not doing that anyways because I want them to take time on it. I want them to really, you know, cr create something great and have great visuals and all that sorts of things. So I am very much happy to wait and this is going to be hopefully great. I'll see what it did there. Kind of rhyming. Anyways, that is not the only news that we have for today. The other thing that we have is that we have a new extended not cut clip from Godzilla vs. Kong. It is a extended scene of Godzilla slapping Kong on the aircraft carrier. 
And the difference between this and the film, for those who don't know, or can't tell, is that in the film itself, when Kong punches Godzilla, and then Godzilla goes to slap Kong, it cuts to Godzilla's point of view, and shows Godzilla slapping Kong, and then it cuts back to where what it was before, and then shows Kong falling. But this is just the full thing of Kong punching Godzilla, and Godzilla slapping Kong, and then Kong falling. Which I think looks pretty cool. But that's going to do it for this video. Are you excited for the Godzilla TV show? Are you surprised about the extended cut or something like that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.